Here we are continuing the Eagle's Tower. We finally have another key. And a nightmare key. This room's kind of mysterious. There's a one-way passage. And there's a this-way passage. That looks like something that will travel downwards through. In a southerly direction. What's this then? It's a staircase. That has taken us to the first floor? Oh right, we were on the second floor. There's a treasure chest right there. We could get there if we could hit this crystal switch. It's over a fence. No problem. Is it finally the beak? What do we think? Oh, we can't get the treasure because the orange spaces have to be down. We have to put them down while here. We can only open treasure chests from the front, as is tradition. I thought I could throw this thing farther than that. But we can't break pots in any way other than lifting them anyway. Not tradition in Breath of the Wild. Yes. Sorry, Kirby. So, one thing I've been neglecting is that to get onto that ridge on the left or on the far right, all we need to do is fall from somewhere above it, right? Maybe down there. Could that be so hard? Ethan says, a lot of close combat games, a few Quake games, a couple Sims games, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Lords of the Realm 2, Rainbow Six Rogue Spear, Diablo 3, and The Godfather, The Game. That last one sounds intriguing. Yes. Try and get me. Um, I haven't played any of those, but I will tell you that I know Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is beloved. I think, um, Melly was playing it on Twitch the other day, and I was, I think I could tell just sort of just by looking at it, that I could understand why it was, um, appreciated as it was. It seems kind of my pace. The only reason I haven't played it might just be that it's a Star Wars game, and I've never been a huge fan of that. And a floppy disk reader. But I don't know if I'm allowed to have that. Would you need it to play anything you just mentioned? Anyway. Looks like Link's been very patient holding up this seashell here. And we note that the seashell was in the chest. And... The seashell sensor dinged, as I had mentioned earlier, when we were within four squares of it. So that tells us, that might give us some insight about what the dinger is dinging about. So maybe we can reach that other chest with the key on the far right in a similar manner. What is above this area? Or it could be all the way over there, anywhere along this edge, really, on level two. No holes there at all that I can see. Unless that's a hole. Is that a hole? I thought that was a switch, but it looks on the map like it's a hole. Let's check that out next. Hmm, KOTOR is well loved, as Steve said. Ethan says, what's the dinger? I mean, uh, the uh, seashell sensor. I don't mean Tom. At least not that time. Oh, awk. There is a hole there. I didn't really register it. Let's do it. Yeah. 
I thought you were talking about the compass dinger. Oh, I see. The compass dinger dinged for that chest. We'll never be able to get on that northmost ridge. Or will we? Can we do that too? No, it seems that we can't. Anyway, now we can just hop right back down here. It's easy. Okay. Oh, stop. This gives us access to an upper platform. Now we can get over there. Is that any good? Wow, that works, huh? How about that? And there's a hole there. Oh, well, whatever. No, I've fallen down that accidentally like two or three times. That isn't really helpful, actually. Lexi, the Godfather game was made in 2006, so it's pretty modern. But it goes for nearly $70 on Amazon, which is surprising for a game of that age. What kind of a game is it, Lexi, and why do you know about it? I'm not saying you're not a pro gamer, I just didn't expect you to know about a game that I've never heard of. And which I would have assumed is more obscure, but I could be completely wrong about that. Have I been in this room before? On the ground floor? Yeah, I guess so. This gets us up to our night room. I looked it up out of curiosity. Yeah, I see. So you didn't know about it. It's an open world action adventure game. So it's The Legend of Zelda? Also found return. I don't know anything about most things, says Lexi. Yes, I'm sure that's true. And Ethan also found return to Castle Wolfenstein. Unless it's Steen, of course, in which case I'm in trouble. I guess that, that also lets us pass by these blocks without having to hit this. Or another switch. I still don't have the beak. These... No, I must not be supposed to have the beak yet, then. That's what the box says. The Nent Legend of Zelda? Yes, it says Nent. Wow, thank you for confirming. That's good marketing. Especially with the question mark. In we go! It's finally time. The game has had surprisingly few of these. Time for the mirror shield to do its job. I can block the, the entity as well, which is now closing in on me severely. Uh, well, this is an interesting relationship we've ended up with. Of musical in its way. Oops, I was holding R, so the menu started scrolling. There we go. The fairy kind of avoids you a little, but it's kind of weird how it does avoid you. Is there any advantage to dropping down from here? <laughs> Not really. So let's see if we can creep through that door with only half a floor beneath it. We made it here, finally. Goodbye. Does that do anything in the floor beneath, too? I mean, you know, maybe that's the beak. Yeah, that's the one I thought might be the beak earlier. There's only one movie in the box, and it's Click with Adam Sandler. Only one movie? Oh, come on. Oh, the ball is right here. How convenient. One time I do want to throw it. Wait, what's going on? Can I not throw it over a pit? Isn't that the idea? Is this another glitch or something? What the heck? Lexi, I've downloaded nearly all of my playthrough of The Last Express. Those will be very good memories, won't they? 
So apparently I can throw this. Right? See? Looks nice and throwable. Can't throw it through a wall, though. Oh, no. Really? So that seemed like, to me, that seemed like yet another glitch. In which case, uh, most impressive, I guess? Let's see if we can throw this guy down from, or southward from here. We did it! See that? Now we just need to make it all the way around once again. I could have prepared that earlier. Mediocre, there's a Lord or the Rings game, Godfather game, and Star Wars game, but I'm only allowed to watch Click. Well, all right. I mean, maybe that's good. Let's see if this works. Yay. Keep forgetting that doesn't help me much. Man, I do have to go down again. This has bit me so many times. You can play good movies or watch bad ones, I guess. Exactly. We can still do it. Not quite. being the general thoughts on the films listed. I have only ever watched Star Wars, and that was by force. Wait, did you not raise your eyebrows when you said that? I've been hexed. I am a pun. Oh. Maybe there is an advantage to dropping down from the second floor in this area. Oh wait, forget everything I just said. We can get the chest now. Yay! There is the beak! That took me forever and we could have gotten it immediately. It was indeed the beak. I'm only half pot on the wrong side. That's pretty good. What is the point of this? Is this just to make you feel like you can't get from anywhere to anywhere else? Now we have to worm our way out of here. Gave up another acorn. Yeah. Like she's gotten over whatever prohibited her from eating. You know how that is. Once again, we have returned. So here we go. We can just doop be do our way over here. standing for it. All right. Let's all keep our eyes on the ball, shall we? Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Wasn't as incredible as I was hoping for. But at least we can get back now. Um, this pathway leads here, so I'm guessing these torches indicate a prime- yeah, you can even kind of see the cracked wall there, but otherwise it's very hard to do. And we have some owl statues to read, to listen to. 
Oh, there's another pillar right there. I bet that all is going to tell us how to do it. Shame the ball can't. Can't break explosible walls. What do you say? If you can't go over the poles, try throwing things you have in your hands. If you can't go over the poles, What's that supposed to mean? I can't even jump over this thing. We can't throw this thing four blocks, can we? Let's actually measure it. Okay, I'm up here on block one. No, that's not gonna work. Let's jump over then. What would this be? Just more bombs. Is there another entrance to this area then that we don't know about? I don't suppose we can do this kind of thing. Maybe up there above that pot. Is it hookshotable? That's a good question. Ooh, we can get over there without dealing with spikes. Let's see. I knew I was giving up my ability to go back that way, though. In which case, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get out of here, except for falling. I guess that might answer that. Does that put me anywhere special if I fall from there? Looks like I'm pretty close to the entrance. Uh, yeah, I'd be in the first room. Hmm. No, no, not yet. Sorry. that again. And that block doesn't stay in the hole, so we have to hit another switch. Sorry, folks. There's no magic wand that can just act as a crystal switch. Not in this place. Here, isn't it? It was our good old first switch ever. But there are so many unretraceable pathways when switches are concerned. <sighs> My mind just does not interpret that correctly. How many times have I done that? Three or four? is solved when the pillars fall. Well, gee whiz, Owl, thanks so much for that. I feel like we were approaching our finest owl.
right, we gotta fall again. But this time, let's fall here, because I want to check up the... <laughs> Captain Alvius. That's who I want to consult. This one, in this case. Jump off the floor above to reach the chest on the table? Is that supposed to be the cryptic part? The fact that he used the word table? That's what we want, isn't it? Giant river rapids ride, that's what this is. Alright. Let's find out. Hmm. Seemingly no luck there, but let's try it out in the open because this ball doesn't seem to like tight spaces. No, nothing. I can't carry this like upstairs, can I? There's a hole right there that looks awfully tempting. Could I get over there before? No, I don't think so. Let's hear this again. If you can't go over the poles, try throwing things you have in your hands. Still not obvious to me what that means. I can push one. Not these ones. Here's what I can do. Wait, hang on. Yeah, that's the answer. Silly me. Can I not go through a door with a door frame on it? I guess not, huh? So that would explain why I needed that key, right? We can do this. Toss you down here. Do I want that open or closed? I'm going to need to come up from downstairs again. And I want blue to be down. I don't know if this is finally brain break, but I will say it is at least brain slight flexation invoked and is utile. That's the technical name for it. And whoever was hurt by a little bit of defense. What the heck? So I guess those are the poles. Were they poles in the original Game Boy version? Because they sure don't look like poles here. Brain ouch, not quite brain hurt. You don't consider ouch to signify hurt? Calorium! This time the shot is full horizontal.
That's right, my tower. Who would build a tower like that? Clearly this tower is was built with the intention of being collapsed in this way. The deliberately charred pillars. Charred? You know, weakened pillars. All right, my dear sphere. That's a good name for a sitcom involving a, sp a sphere. And we always have to draw from here. I'm not gonna make it across there. As much as it looks like it is hopeful that we might. Finally, this is of some use. Come on, in you go. My dear sphere. Now where are we? Now we're on the proper third floor. That looks more like a floor, doesn't it? Look, the boss is there. He's right there. He? Am I presuming? But wait, I don't see a boss here. I just see a nightmare key door. And I have the key. So we could just go in it, right? But I don't yet have that chest. But that door looks like it would take us into this room and might get us to that chest. Also, that looks like a room where we normally see an instrument. So this is a little unusual. Let's see what's west of here. Hey, Goom. Sorry. Ethan says, I always thought it was cool that the teleport circle is required to progress. I don't think any other dungeon I know of does that. Uh, is it required to progress? That would be cool. I just didn't realize it was true. Um, the reason I might... Uh, I suppose the, the closest thing I have to evidence that it might not be is that I don't remember ever depending on the circles when I played in the past. But there is this, right? This is the only way up, the only other way up into this floor. And you need to have orange down to get up here. But we know it is possible to do that. And that would allow us to get there. We did that before. Anything new over here? Oh, there's a switch there. Try that. That was the switch I thought we might need in the future. That's cool. And so this is the area that used to be the gaping maw, right? I guess that was just crumbled out of existence, kind of. Remember this room. Now we can finally get here. Ethan says, it is. You get the teleporter before the tower collapses, then after it falls, the room you entered to get there is different. So something on floor two is changed by the, by the tower collapsing? You must be talking about the room beneath this room, right? So are you saying this room is different? Because it doesn't look different. Unless the staircase has been blocked or something. And if that's not what you're saying, then I don't yet understand. Wait a sec. I have a mirror shield on me here. I should be using it to much greater effect, shouldn't I? Come on, let's get right in your face with it. There we go. That's something I don't care for. If you're holding R already, when you go into the subscreen, you start shifting the menu around without meaning to. Oh. <laughs> 
Wow, arrows work better than their own beams, don't they? The eye seems to have closed as well. Ethan says, part of floor four fell into floor three, and the parts it fell onto are gone now. Yes, I got that, but I'm still not sure why that would require you to take the, the teleporter. This is the part that has changed, right? This large horizontal area here. So that door wasn't there. I was able to get there before. And I was able to go up here and get there. In any case, what I need now, ow. I see, that's how you disable that. Isn't what I need now to get the blue switch down somehow? Floor four is now nothing, by the way. That's kind of cool. Do I need to go through the nightmare door and scavenge from there? Maybe that's it. So I am equipped with it. Let's see what's back here. Yep, it's just a normal door. How about that? What could this be all about? And a new place to fall there. Wow, I could fall all the way down to there. Which, as far as I can tell, won't do a thing for me. Hello. Oh, God. That's not what I meant at all. explains. The room you were in just before fighting the mini-boss is gone now. So that would be this room, right. And is replaced with four with floor f f the fourth floor. Floor four, which is now in floor three. I have a PhD in brain hurt. That is not what I meant at all. This is not it at all. That is not it at all. Um, yes, I agree with you, but I still don't understand how that would require to use the teleporter. Because it seems there's still an open path from this stairway to this room. And that is all I needed to continue the dungeon, right? That's, that's my point. Have I, am I still missing something? Yeah. Yay! At least I'm a little better at these. Intuitively, perhaps, maybe. Yeah. Either that or I'm lucky. Ah. What does that say on it? I think those are just some characters. But you've already got some on, so let's put this back. Oh, there's a chest in this game that I can't open? That's like an epidemic in Zelda games lately. It's anathema to completionists. Ethan says, yeah, I see. I remember it being required, but I could be wrong. Um, I think that would be cool, but it seems like it isn't required, as far as I can tell. It's such a cool idea, though. Anyway, this didn't get us to the nightmare, but look, there is this. Another thing I didn't really catch earlier. So that last chest was just about medicine. That's all it was. All right, now I feel like it's finally time. Let's have a sip of preparatory lubrication. <laughs> Just kidding. What do I want? I don't have full hearts, but I do have full fairies. Are there only two bottles in this game? There must be at least one more. I'm going to get one more item, which I think does occupy one of these slots. And this, this dungeon's item was a shield upgrade, which didn't take up one of these slots. 
So there could be one more bottle, and if there is, I do not remember where it comes from. Let's go. Ah, we finally conquered the tower. All right, bye for now. Hmm? Well, maybe I should go here. Can we walk over here? Let's spend the day pushing spikes. No luck there either. So what do I have? I have a mirror shield. Maybe I'll have to use that. But I also have a hook shot, which can shoot vertically. My rooster friend isn't here either. Those aren't birds. Those are just little flying simple enemy eye things. They're like fairy hybrids. Okay, let's talk to him. He's flexing the other eye this time. Bah! I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to make you wish you were never born. Oh, hi. Bird? What bird? Feeling a little windy, eagle? Ow! What are you doing firing things at me? I have a shield now. I don't remember being attacked by you from the bottom of the tower in the original. Many feathers, and they're not even rocks. Which sense of the word rocks did I mean? I mean, okay. What do you want from me? hit you that time. I did nothing. Unleash that in the air. Are you just trying to throw me out of the spice? Because that's not working. Alright, let's use a fairy. Boomerang? There we go. You done? My energy. Gone. I lost. But you will be lost too. If the windfish wakes. And there isn't even any ominous music here either or anything. Same as me. You are in his dream. Yes, yes. We've heard it all before. Sorry about your eagle. I guess it actually was evil. These aren't just guardians that were possessed by evil or anything like that. They're just naturally evil. Look at this. We're doing this all in the horizontal area. Just like that deathly fish. At least we get that music. That's something.
the door politely opens for us. What's the instrument going to be? I don't think we ever look up the instruments before we find them, right? There's no way to find that out. Ethan said, is that Rock's dad? <laughs> I just noticed the flute guy on his back. Hmm. They're just trying to not get erased from existence. I guess that's a good way to look at it. Whereas everyone else who is good in the game doesn't mind. Maybe that is a bit of a theme, you're right. I'd never thought of it like that. Like it's selfish and evil to want to exist beyond your, you know, your circumstantial existence, I guess. Now we're talking my language. We've got a one octave keyboard here. People say that Link is the bad guy in this game. Do they, Ethan? Yeah, I guess they probably do. That would be another theme. Good food. Nice piano. This thing is freaking indestructible. And look, it's on a symbol that looks kind of like the placeholders for the eight instruments. Let's do it. You got the organ of evening clam. I mean calm. Joshua says, I kind of accidentally entered lurk mode, but I'm going to be lurking more since I'm working. GG on finishing the dungeon. Thank you. You and Ethan can maybe exchange some remarks at some point on what it's like to be watching Twitch while you work. I suppose I do that too. I guess it depends on what sense of the work, what sense of the word work you mean. But I think Ethan's actually in an office. Ocarina? The last dungeon is on the inside of an ocarina. It's about time. I don't think that's actually happened yet. The music of the ocarina leads. That's also been true of Ocarina of Time, I suppose. Ocarina was the subtitle of the freaking game in that case. Well, we completed the dungeon, folks. That was maybe the most tedious one so far, as well it should be. It's the seventh. Hello, bird keyhole. You're a nice assistant to giant tower ominous bird. Let's take one more look at the map before we say goodbye to this dungeon forever. Mediocre Deluxe, good and food should rhyme phonetically, but they just barely don't, I suppose. Yeah, it's not much of a stretch to make them make them rhyme. There it is, floor one, floor two, floor three, and we didn't get that because we don't need it, but we could just teleport to there in case we want to refill. Excuse me. Or we could buy more from Tracy. And now we also know a little bit more about how the seashell sensor works, we think. And so there are a couple of seashells around here that are a mystery to me. Look, way down there. That rock down at the very bottom isn't out of focus for some reason. Makes me feel like there's a little bit of artificial intelligence at play there. Ponya Bologna? Why did you type that? It was a quesadilla with egg and spinach and hummus, humus, and kimchi and celery on the side. Mm, so good. Okay, we could jump down there. Let's take a moment to express thanks for our dear resurrected Brewster of Legend. He has served his purpose and perhaps he has now moved on. Is there anything in there we could have missed? No, and the sensor's also not piping up. Wait, was there something here? What's with this ledge? the way back up. This is the way back down. And I ate it with chopsticks. Well, gosh. You mean the kimchi and celery? Not the quesadilla, right? All of it. All of it. All the networks. Here we go. Come on, sensor. Sing your song. No? Hmm. We'll figure you out eventually. 
Yes, I do, even lift. And now you know. So we've cleared most of this stuff out, haven't we? We didn't figure out the room with the five chests with all slimes in them. And those chests do reclose, don't they? So yeah, what's the deal here? It's gotta be that it's down there on the waterfall, right? Unless it's up there. Uh, it's possible. It could be there. No, because at times when we leave the area where it might be. Let's do this. Wasn't there another time here too, or did we find that one? Yeah, it seems to be... Is it down here? There it is! It's hidden right under the waterfall. Now we know. Okay, I think next we'll go... We'll head down here. Why would the music of the ocarina lead? So there's another chime here. If there was an underwater seashell, could we see it? Is one of these waterfalls, like, traversable? Okay, all of the last express saved. Now we're talking. If anyone here is not following Lexi, a.k.a. Laloom, until Buddy breaks my computer again, I'd like to think he's learned his lesson. As counterintuitive as it is, I would say computer break is more painful than brain break. Okay. So what, what does this mean? Where is this seashell? If it's here, we'd have to dig like a 16 square radius, right? Not a radius, like a square. If anyone here is not following me, I don't know how you managed to avoid my trap. Like, congratulations. Well said, Lexi. In the water to the left of the waterfalls, you can dive? Um, if you're describing this area right here, a moment ago I swam underneath there, but I didn't go much further than five or six squares because I don't think that's what the sensor is telling me. But so far, if there's been something underwater we could get, we've been able to see it, I think. Right around here is where it pipes up. I already did all this digging, though. And that certainly looks like an interesting hole. Like a suspicious hole, right? But what could it mean? I think it's nothing. I think I already did all this, didn't I? Is there another way to get a seashell out of the air that I don't know about? There it chimes again, so it's chimed for us here and here, and I think we've always been heading north when it has chimed, right? There it is. See? Where does that leave? Here? 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 Is it in the well? Like right there? It sure looks like it could be, right? But I have no idea how to get into there. Thank you, Ethan. And it's not down here. Yeah, we're totally getting... able to center in on it, right? Well is looking awfully good. But how? There's no way. Unless we can somehow drop down from above, but I think we're out of options when it comes to that, right? And yes, it could be... It could still be up there if we just happened to miss it when we were diving, but I don't know. Here's what we'll do. Haven't done this in a little while, right? Where the heck is our seashell in that area? See, there's another well there. As far as I know, certainly in the original, you could not get into those. Yeah. 
Two dungeons in a row up the mountain. power are plentiful, aren't they? Another one of these. One we still haven't found. I guess there could be another seashell down there. Or is that, that no, that's shallow water. And another well. Yeah, so maybe there is something to them. I don't know. Let's see if we get another ding, like five or four, four or five. Yes, we do. Shells in the wells. And it's not that. It's gotta be something about them then, hasn't it? Thank you for the observations there, Lexi. Could it be like tossing a bomb into them from above or something? Maybe. on. Okay, this obviously isn't the way I need to go. I haven't put too much effort into memorizing this labyrinth. throwing bombs into wells, then maybe I can... That won't work, will it? No. It's a little far-fetched. I wonder what our chicken friend will say now that we've... The rooster hasn't come to live here, has it? Yes, it has! Oh my gosh! Look at it! Sorry about that, sir. Ooh, finally! The flying rooster is the greatest! That's cool. Yeah, he is, isn't he? I'm glad he still enjoys his hobby. That's all aw awfully satisfying. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, there's the, there's the chime again. That looks like it might have worked. There we go. Yes! We did it. Question is, how do we get the other one? Maybe we can throw a bomb from the warp tile itself. That might work. But there is a third well. Oh, hi. What are you doing here, Marin? Some monsters put me up here. What should I do? I'm afraid of heights. Well, don't move. 
Let's do the classic swoop. Yep. Yeah, well, that was a surprise. Link, thank you. Are you not afraid of heights anymore? Say, Link. Um, uh, I don't know how to say this, but... Hello. Oi! Marin! Huh? Terran? Uh, never mind. I... I gotta go! Wait, but the... Uh, ocarina. Music of the Ocarina. Walrus. Walrus! I guess you're not gonna follow us again. Was Link expecting the owl or something? That girl sang her song in front of the egg. Her ballad of the wind fish is a song of awakening. Did she actually intend to wake the wind fish? The next siren's instrument is in the west. Play your melodies so the unliving stones might hear. Show your courage. The windfish waits for you. A musicless moment. Ooh. Sounds like the timpani player finally showed up. agrees that the owl is the true villain. I think the true villain is probably Ulrira. Yeah, there's that maniacal looking ominous stone of ominousness. Okay, which was the place with the flamethrower? Obviously it was here. Three, two, one. It's not exactly ceremoniously placed. More bombs. I miss them. I'm probably full on bombs. I'm not full on bombs. Can I just get them again? Let's find out. Yeah. Oh, that was only two bombs, I see. Can I do it again? It's better than buying them. Yep. Infinibomb Cove. That's probably what everyone calls it. Three, two, one. Is it just the key? No, it's a teleport place. There we go. Uh, one of which I never did find by the tower. Well, that's good. Another seashell around here. Huh? I didn't get the chime down there, so I guess it's not down there. So maybe the chime, yeah, it's not like a lengthy proximity chime. Where would it be? Oh, it's here. The rocks are less conspicuous. Do you want? Yeah. Let's see what our phoniest friend has to say to us. Bring, bring. Hi, it's Oira. The head of the turtle is in your way. Put life into it and it will move. I knew there was a second use for that song. 
It's true. True. I click. Aggressively digs hole for no reason. I guess the head of the turtle is in our way. I remember these guys as being menaces. But actually, that was pretty easy. And there's one of those little dudes slinking around up there. Is that another teleport place up there? There are two of them? That's awfully convenient. Hello. Phonius, not to be confused with Felonius. <laughs> but I don't know anything about Ulrira. But apparently you know something about Archduke Ferdinand. And I still don't know what or why. Um, the word I meant to speak was phoniest. Are we ready to inject a little bit of life into this turtle's head? animal head related things on mountain based dungeons wait a minute my mind tells me that this is a boss I need to defeat this head yes it's true well let's just be calm Or should we just be bomb? We'll try to be more quick about that next time. Oops. I didn't manage to run you into a wall that time. This is cool because the Turtle Rock Head is very much a throwback to A Link to the Past, of course. You have to do something special to open it. Ooh, yes. And the turtle head in the link to the past definitely wasn't a boss. And also this idea of chipping away at armor. There's another link to the past reference. Now you look a little bit more enlivened. Are you still gonna smack your head against me? Are you worried about disappearing if the windfish wakes? You look a bit more crocodile-y than I thought. I'm not sure that turtles' heads actually look anything like that remotely. At least there's a fairy in it for me. During that fight, Lexi politely said, he was killed by the Black Hand, which Vesna was a part of. And that started the First World War, and the events of the Last Express took place between his assassination and the outbreak of war. Now it's much clearer, thank you. Well, here we are the 8th dungeon. Level 8, Turtle Rock. 